one of the most inspirational things for me about the music of J.S. Bach is not just the beauty of the musical language, uh, but certainly the way in which Bach brings the text to life, uh, and we see this throughout his compositional career, but it's really the wedding of those elements of text and music uh, that lifts um, his message to something which is very special. Learning the music of Bach is most challenging. I remember my high school director wouldn't even touch it. It was so, so depth, so full of depth and so dynamic. Um, we learned so, based on performance practice, based on um, as a vocalist speaking uh, in terms of articulation and in term, but more than that, in terms of spiritual meaning of the text, in in, in terms of the historical context. Um, we have a great job. We do a great job here of educating um, both uh, in terms of musically and historically. One of the things that I really have found is how demanding um, a large work like this is to learn and even beyond that to perfect it and to be able to speak through the music to to the audience and show them what you know what a wonderful thing this is Fox St. Matthew Passion and um, I just in order to really get into the music you just need to understand the historical content where it's coming from and to be able to take what happened so many hundred years ago and bring it to now and how it can pertain to the audience in 2010. Uh, 300 years later, in the case of, of St. Matthew Passion, that still uh, we could gather and listen to this music and try to understand its message uh, for the modern person and have that message be still among the most compelling tellings of the gospel narrative of, of Jesus' arrest and trial and crucifixion. Uh, this has an amazing, um, it has an amazing power. I can remember uh, three years ago when we did uh, St. John Passion, I was a freshman, and since that time, uh, every time I hear uh, just spoken the, the gospel account um, of the Passion from St. John, I can't help but hear the music of Bach being played in the background, and it, oh, and I don't think I'll ever forget, I can't ever forget that. And the same thing is happening now with Matthew, and so it just allows these characters that you've known, I mean, growing up Lutheran, grow, known these people your whole life, you thought, and then someone like Bach sets them to music in a way that you wouldn't, you didn't necessarily anticipate, and it completely reorients your opinion and your um, internal monologue of what the story of, of salvation is. All of my fondest memories are through Corel. Um, since my freshman year, three years ago, I walked in here and saw that this was my family. This is really um, where we come every single day, and we, Dr. Cox says, leave everything at the door. This is where we come to just we forget about everything and we're just here for the sole purpose of music and that is such a wonderful bond that we share and one of my favorite things is being able to tour through the country through, through the world to Germany and share that bond that we have with other people you can't you don't have more different people in a room than you do in here all different majors you know all different personalities and we come together for one common bond and that's a wonderful thing to share that with people awesome.